tell me when you're ready, Dave. Yep, started. All right, cool. Hey, um, so thanks everybody for joining. Um, it's gonna be a little, uh, a little bit of review. Um, I've been really busy, so uh, you, you know, um, if you guys have any ideas or or uh, you you guys are able to pitch in at any time, you know, um, that would be uh, welcome. Um, so. Uh, Really, this is going to be mostly the Eric show uh, for today. Uh, but oh, I we, yeah, yeah, I know. I put you on the spot, but uh, you're really why people come. So uh, let's let's be clear. Um, um, so uh, you know when we, when we first kind of like kicked this off, uh, these were kind of the goals, and I've just changed uh, changed the name on number two, which is, hey, um, where are we right now? Um, so. Um, I think um, on the first bullet, how can we help ICP dev team with testing? Um, Eric, our, uh, I, I've seen a lot of interaction with uh, members um, separately, not in an organized way, but are you starting to get the type of uh, input that you need or? or... Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a very happy camper this week. Uh, I had uh, especially two people, uh, that were actually actively using the schema tool, uh, finding problem areas. Uh, so I I have uh, uh, quite a few bugs that have been solved. Great. Uh, uh, I'm sure there will be others, but uh, this is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, I, I literally just uh, two minutes before the before the meeting started uh, got another zip file with a project uh, to look into uh, because something is not quite working or is being misinterpreted. So uh, it's also helping me uh, figure out where uh, better explanations are necessary for people who start using this stuff. So okay. that's also good. Uh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, just to expand on um, this, you guys, I'm I'm expecting you uh, folks to uh, chime in and talk about uh, things that you found out um, in experimenting with this, or if you haven't, you know, uh, really, uh, there's too much going on for for me to keep up with everything, and every one of you, uh, you know, share with uh, lessons learned, things you've run into, that kind of thing, because uh, I can't. I just can't follow it all. You guys need to contribute in that form. Um, so uh, identifying tools that exist on other platforms. What do we think? Uh, how do you think we're doing there? Um, are we are, are we needing to do that now? Are we working through that in any way? Are people working with other tools um, with our products? Or are we happy with uh, using TypeScript and so with with the schema tool now? Has that been, been um, a key thing? or? Uh, what are people doing? Maybe you leveraging, you know, tools from the uh, Ethereum environment. Um, anybody have any uh, comments on that? Any anything they've done or identified? Um, before we jump on to that, Greg, can I yeah. explore one topic that I ran into the past week? That'd be great. Um, that's specifically dealing with hooking Wasp up to Go Shimmer, and uh, so the current version of Go Shimmer eight one or two uh that's not currently or having some issues with wasp is that correct eric as far as that's not supported at this time uh, i just want to make yeah sure. we we had to lock to i think version 1.7.7 1. 7. 7 or something like that eight or, yeah yeah i think it was uh eight, eight or seven point seven i think yeah you 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 can see it in the repo which, yeah. which version is uh is, it's linking to but that is the version we're locked to for now, because the changes that were being made in GoShimmer were uh, heaping up quickly, and uh, that keeping up with that was costing us a lot of time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we decided to just lock it to a reasonable, stable version. We may uh, add a few fixes uh, here and there uh, over time because it, it's not 100% stable. But uh, it's stable enough to do all kinds of testing at the moment. So, okay. Yeah, and we're we're 
well, I indicated that last time uh, we're moving away from uh, from Go Shimmer anyway, right? Uh, yeah, exactly. We're, we're going to have to move towards Chrysalis. So we started uh, with what we call the Stardust. Uh, uh, that's the name of the of the project of moving to Chrysalis. Okay. Um, Ivaldas has already created uh, a new framework for that. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's that's the oh, the global uh, thing, uh, and then uh, everybody will start uh, filling in the, the blanks in that framework. Yeah, and I think uh, what um, what I'm currently doing is I'm hooking up to the uh, the DevNet uh, was the. the Wasp node to the current DevNet Go Shimmer, which is seven seven, uh, or not DevNet to uh, your guys, yeah, the the ISCP DevNet. But is there should I approach, or can we get the Go Shimmer team maybe to have a like a, a Docker version of Go Shimmer that's tagged to seven seven, or is that already available so that um, people can run their own um, node versus having to I don't I don't. I don't know. I don't think that is available. Uh, it would be very helpful if we had a stable uh, Docker container that yeah. you can simply use uh, as plug and play to set up your own little cluster so you can do some testing and running uh, with, with, with just a but button push instead of the way it goes now and yeah there's still way too many questions on how do i do this how do i do that how do i get this <laughs> running yeah in my exactly. opinion that's 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 a big hurdle for uh for a lot of people they start they start doing that and then they bump into problems and at some point they will give up yeah because i think we're just in this kind of weird period between you guys transitioning over and the Go Shimmer team making those, you know, advances on what they need to do. So, yeah, it's, uh, I was, and I may this week reach out to some of the Go Shimmer team and see if they have a, some way to build a, um, a 7.7 version in Docker so that, uh, that's available. And I'll post it here on the X team when I do, if, if I can get that to happen. So I may reach out to you, Eric, to help in that aspect. Yeah, I'm I'm probably going to need it myself because I'm going to have to run a client uh when I'm going to do client software. Yeah. Uh I'm going to have to have a a server to talk to. Yeah, so exactly. I literally haven't done that at all in all this time. So I I don't <laughs> even have any idea how to set it up. <laughs> It's not. It's it's pretty, pretty. If you have Docker stuff, it's it's pretty dead simple. So that's that was. Yeah, my... but I'm 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 not uh, yeah. not the Docker guy. Uh, I'm I'm the tool builder, right? Uh, I <laughs> a lot of this stuff is so out of my expertise that uh, I'm simply a user and gonna have to figure it out all mm. by myself. Uh, I just started looking into uh, the client software, and I feel. Uh, Pretty you know over my head, uh, setting it up, uh, setting up a development environment in which I mm -hmm. can test uh, the code that is be that's being generated by the schema tool in in that right, environment, right. etc. That's hmm. uh, that's that's gonna be uh, my my headache this week, I guess. Yeah. Setting up an environment where I can test. I I I looked at the code. I I already know some of the stuff that I want to generate generating it shouldn't take more than a few days mm -hmm. but getting it fit together with what's there and testing it and such that's going to be my main problem uh, yeah. creating unit tests in uh, in that environment for example uh, how to test it separately that that it runs in the well, in, in the browser environment essentially and can be tested as separate uh, packages uh, without having a, a gigantic user interface library or whatnot uh, in mm. addition. That that's that's going to be uh, uh, some figuring out. So yeah, yeah, understand that. That's yeah, that'll be a bit of a challenge. Okay, sorry that that answered my question. And I, I actually the other the only other thing I have is there's 
obviously no other way that for right now except to to just run that seven seven go shimmer or connect to an existing one that's um, yeah run there so until you guys get that yeah or or order. if 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 you're doing wasm vm development uh, mm -hmm. then uh, you already have the solo tool as a as a environment to to create your smart contract right and uh... test them uh, it's 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 a very solid testing environment uh, and i personally think it's a lot of fun writing the test and and seeing your smart contract function uh without having to deploy it on uh, in a live system with with all its problems to debug it etc so uh, yeah I, I pers personally i'm i prefer building it uh, on solo and then uh, later deploy it and then then fix anything that's that's left to fix i see yeah yeah we have to deploy some of ours so that was uh that's gonna work for development but yeah the deployment parts that where we need the the go shimmer and so dave um and, yeah. what you need really is you need uh the basically the container or um that built for um for us to be able to move forward and it's working also... it's it's working now but it's dependent upon another server that someone else is running and that's always okay. a yeah, it's a, you know, not it's a dependency it's out of your not, control. It's acceptable, right. but not acceptable, <laughs> I, I guess. Well, uh, right, so the cool thing here is that question. we could get, we, yeah. yeah, we could get, um, now we can say that Eric needs it, so maybe some, somebody will help us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure the guys over there will be, and I just was hesitating reaching out because, as you said, we're just, there's a whole ton of stuff going on, but I think it's reached a point where I'll, I'll end yeah. up doing that. This yeah. Week, so. Well, you, and now, yeah, that, Eric needs it. So that'll be kind of yeah. handy and it won't be right. So that's very good. I can um, mention that, right, Eric, that, that you also need that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Of course. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it always is helpful. <laughs> okay. Sorry to use derail, but I thought oh, that no, was a no, very helpful. Exactly. Uh, Isn't this, what this, is, this is what we're here for. Um, right. Mm -hmm. So uh, for those are, that have came late, um, I'm just kind of reviewing where we were and where we are, uh, what we started off with and kind of where, what progress we've made, if any. Um, and also just we've had enough time. People have been me uh, messing around with the code. Um, and now it's time to kind of like talk about experiences, lessons learned, and so forth. So um, Kumar, or, or uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about tools that you've identified um, that are uh, – that we're, that are you're finding people are, are using um um if that's possible is that you've been doing a lot of um pretty cool things on twitch and presentations um I'd be kind of curious about what you're seeing from the community the people you know well, which videos people are most resonating uh, to when you do these um, um do you have any any lessons learned from there Uh, well, most of most of most of the people are right now already you know aware of Polygy, so I think most of the experiments are happening in uh, using EVM okay. and uh, hard add solidity, I guess uh, remix and all that. Uh, MetaMask is probably a de facto for everybody right now. Um, I have not seen a lot of people experiment with Wasm. That might also be because. Uh, you know, Rust and uh, Go might be a little bit more complicated to learn, I guess. Yeah. Uh, but in, uh, 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 so, so I think I think we have to like, uh, talk more about the schema rules because that makes things a lot more easier. Uh, we did, uh, you know, uh, put up these discussions, but I don't think we have got enough uh, uh, enough notes on there on the uh, the smart contracts. So. Right. GitHub right. discussion one. So I'll just put the links over here again, mm -hmm. <laughs> in case. Uh, in yeah, case no. Yeah, exactly. Um, that, you know, we have. Think, uh, yeah, what we've experienced right now, right, in in um, with with the uh, IOTA environment, right, is just announcement after announcement, and and trying to keep up with all these different <laughs> things, right. So uh, things get lost. Um, so that's like kind of where we're retouching and re reposting information. I mean, one thing. It's cool that everybody knows that they come to Discord. At the same time, um, information just gets lost in channels, and, and and it's not the most convenient place to search for stuff. So, 
uh, yeah, we, we, I find that we constantly have to repost stuff just to mm -hmm. make sure that people know where it's at. Well, I know um, that Kumar's videos absolutely. were incredibly helpful to me to understand some of the the areas I hadn't gone through before. So thank you for making those, Kumar. That was uh, they were extremely helpful. For sure, yeah. for sure. Um, That's great. One more thing I think that was that I think we were just discussing right before this was uh, also uh, setting up the nodes, as I heard. I think yeah. I jumped yeah. right in the middle. So yeah, I mean, uh, is, is this something that we are going to uh, do it from extremes and... Uh... At this point, you know, I was struggling to find out something where we all could connect on, but right now I think that um, it seems like that's probably the container that uh, uh, Dave was talking about, and uh, those are just requirement required. Even uh, you know, Eric was speaking about how many people are having issues um, and yeah, yeah, be discouraged yeah. in moving. So we need to like just make, that's probably should be our focus, right? I, yeah, I, I think. I, yeah, I think I think that that's that's great. And just to add to it, I think it will also be uh, a, a, a a good experiment from the community side that these uh, this is a community run committee and so on mm -hmm. good point yeah 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 so um on the container side of things uh, uh kumar uh we're, we're dave needs this um um eric needs this i know that other people aren't talking need this so um uh whatever you can do to like, help us marshal the resources and, and actually make this happen um you know and whatever way I can assist, let me know. But um, maybe you guys can work together to get the required support. So, that, because I'm, I view this as timely. Like we, the sooner the better, right? We, it's this. This isn't something. There's too many projects out there that are dependent upon this, um, that are kind of kind of just in, suspended and um, just waiting. So, uh, for this to work. Yeah, cool. I think all it's going to be is just making sure there's a, a Docker instance that's out there that we can say, you know, instead of Go Shimmer latest, we just need Go Shimmer 7.7 .7 or even Go Shimmer Wasp that um, allows us to, you know, to build that uh, image exactly as Wasp needs it so that, you know, we can stick that in our um, Docker. Uh, uh, compose file or however else we're, we're building the image and and do that and that that will solve all i think most of the problems that we're dealing with that yeah, way and the pre your videos work for everything because you're built you know the environment that gets set up as exactly as it needs and wasp has all the you know dependencies resolved on that version of go shimmer completely completely and kind of a little preamble about hey this is in order for you to just have an effective you know interaction right just boom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why this is what we need yeah. to set up, because um, I think a lot of people just don't know, and a lot of times within our world, it's like, where do you look? What do you do? Who do you talk to? Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, cool. Um, anybody else have any comments uh, about that? Experiences, hassles, inconveniences, recommendations. Uh, just to add one more thing, uh, we talked yeah. about this in, in an earlier meeting mm -hmm. uh, to set up pre-built binaries so that people don't have to, uh, you know, clone the repo uh, and uh, build it uh, on their local systems. So right. if, if there are enough people on various operating systems and uh, different environments, so we can have pre-built binaries built out for uh, such occasions and people can just install something like, you know, yeah. brew install something. Or, so oh, that would be sweet. Um, yeah. And this can be something that can be driven from the community side. Hmm. Yeah. It can. Um, I'm. I'm. I'm just uh, with the interaction that we've seen, right, from people um, here. I'm not. I'm not seeing that type of engagement, to be frank. So, um, I think we need to like pick one and see if we can get some somebody uh, on the team to sponsor some of this or or to to take the initiative of I'm just because I simply can't. So, um, uh, so if anybody wants to raise their hand and kind of uh, do that or uh, take that one on, uh, I think Dave and I are going to champion along with uh, Kumar the make um, sure that we got the container stuff handled. Um, but um, anybody else who wants to 
volunteer, you can either DM me um, or uh, you know pipe pipe up um, on the binaries. Um, maybe we don't have the people that can do it, but uh, you know that's something to think about. Um, anybody um, running into issues with uh, aside from MetaMask issues? Um, I'm going to jump to the last bullet because the other ones are kind of um, a little redundant. Um, uh, who's had experience with uh, working with other chains other than uh, so with ETH essentially um, and running into uh, undocumented features, um, things that we did not expect or just simply don't work? That's either yes or we don't have people doing it. So, okay. Um, good to know. All right. Well, um, I'll let you guys kind of read what el what else is on the bottom of the agenda. Uh, that's just for you guys, uh, some interesting things uh, that I've seen and learned. Uh, I will um, ask Eric um, now, Eric, if you can kind of, um, you already gave us a great weather report and all things in uh, that are going on in Canada, but now maybe you can uh, <laughs> help us out with uh, some of the new changes. You just came back from a meeting and, and some of the things that you guys are working on and experiencing. Um, right now uh, that might make sense for the X teams to know and, and for the, 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 the just kind of just see uh, the progress and, and the state of affairs. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, we kind of divided up in teams um, to, to tackle uh, the, the, the refactoring. Uh, we have two main teams um i think one is for the uh, consensus uh, uh layer and mm -hmm. and one is for the for the the layer on top of that um correct me if i'm wrong kumar i i uh, that was decided to about two weeks or so ago and um yeah the vmware said, group and the other yeah yeah uh, and then there's a third team, and that's me. Um, <laughs> so I'm just continuing on the course uh, that I already laid in with the uh, with the schema tool and the Wasm VM uh, to get that uh, to a higher level. While the rest is working on the on the underlying uh, uh, refactoring. And uh, as things become available that need to be hooked into from the from the Wasmlib side, I will add those. But my code side is pretty solid in that regard. I can adapt to changes pretty easily, and uh, uh, I don't see huge problems there. So I can focus <laughs> on uh, on on keeping the the Wasm side running with all supported languages and and generating of code and such. Um, in that regard, uh, I've added support for events as full-blown entities in the schema uh, definition file. So um, we, ha we had a system where you can generate events simply by uh, creating a text string that would be, be the event. Mm -hmm. And then you can uh, intercept those events from the client side to see that things have happened. For example, uh, with Fair Roulette, you have the event that a, a round started or a round stopped or an event that sent uh, a, an update of the round number or uh, a bet that has been placed or who, who was the winner, what the payout was, those kind of events. Um, but they were mm -hmm. ad hoc strings, essentially, and uh, I thought that needed a solid layer on top so that the encoding of those strings would be uniform and the interface to do it uh, would be type safe. So you now can define events and events can have a number of uh, simple fields and uh, you just uh, uh, send an event uh, as as a function specific function call 
with those fields as parameters and then underneath that will be translated in an event string that is formatted in a certain way and the idea is that uh, the client side code knows exactly how that formatting works and uh, dissects that back into structures that are passed around uh, in the event handling on the client side so you get you essentially you get send an event object that uh, has a default uh, field that is a timestamp uh, uh, because that's something that you probably always need and then you get the fields that have been defined uh, in the in the schema file and that is what i uh, will be generating on the client side today and then uh, then it becomes uh, the circus on testing that that stuff um what else uh, yeah the, there is not really much to report other than that everybody's uh, working hard to define okay. what uh, what needs to be done and uh, and tasks are being uh, taken up by uh, by people right we we're, we're, we're creating a list of all the tasks and uh, whoever wants to work on certain tasks uh, starts working on that uh Okay. See what uh, Lucas uh, is uh, is helping me uh, with the client side uh, whenever I have questions because he uh, he's the one who does the the, the who did the fair roulette stuff. So that's uh, that's the obvious choice for now. And uh, yeah, he uh, he actually made it uh, clear to me that. Uh, even after 10 years uh, not being involved in web development uh, we're still in the stone ages as far as web development uh, is concerned uh, debugging with uh, with print statements and things like that uh, it's kind still of silly same. yeah so i <laughs> i may do something about that as well <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, i'm sure you could do it once you get the time so that's uh, pretty cool. Um, all right, guys. Um, anybody else uh, have anything to bring forward, experiences in their projects, things that they're working on, or information that is lacking that we need to help do things? No? Okay. Um <laughs> I'm going to, uh, you know, it sounds like uh, we've got a busy week this week. Um, it's also a short week for a lot of the people in the Americas. So uh, there's a Thanksgiving holiday, which means half the week is typically off. So um, Super a lot spreader of... events. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is that. <laughs> so you guys, uh, yeah, be safe and sane. Uh, be smart. Uh, but I'm going to... Um, if nobody has anything to add, um, I would just, I'll make the plea that if anybody wants to contribute, if anybody wants to run these meetings, if anybody wants to, you know, uh, take more of a leadership role, um, that would be welcome. Because uh, uh, I, uh, there's a lot of things going on. Um, and uh, if yeah, I, I welcome, welcome the help um, and also encourage it. So um, DM me. And uh, other than that, I feel like uh, we should just wrap it up for today. Hmm. All right. Everybody okay with that? All right. I'm, I'm good. Gonna I'm stay. already reaching out to the Ghost Shimmer team right now. So. Okay. Um, great. Great. Okay. Well, uh, I'll, I'll take silence okay. uh, as a uh, confirmation of, yeah, let's close this. So you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you. Yep. Thanks, Greg. Bye-bye.